Hey guys, welcome to another Key Services mini series video. My name is Tyree and I'm from STM Environmental. And today we're going to be looking at flood risk assessments, what they mean, and how they affect your property. So, guys, a flood risk assessment looks at the likelihood of flooding at a location over a period of time. As well as that, it looks at mitigation measures you can take of that flooding, as well as how your development itself will affect both the surrounding area and the flooding on site. So guys, you might be asking yourselves why you've been asked to put together a flood risk assessment. And in most cases, it's because your property falls in an area of high risk of flooding, known as a flood zone. These flood zones are calculated by running complex computer models based upon historical flooding at the area. After flood modeling, the environment agency then ranks these areas in order of severity and then maps them so that we can see which spatial locations are at the highest risk of flooding. Using these maps, consultants like us can then analyse the flood risk to your property and the surrounding area from your development. So this involves us projecting flood risk over time because flood risk is actually going to be likely impacted by climate change and therefore become more vulnerable with time. As well as this, your development is likely to change the localised flooding within your area. So sometimes mitigation measures will have to be taken to ensure that there is no negative effect of your development to the localised flooding. So guys, there are three levels of FRAs or flood risk assessments that could be required by the local authority. The first, which we offer is a flood risk report, which is a screening to see whether a level two FRA or the full flood risk assessment is needed. A level two FRA is a qualitative assessment of the flood risk at a site and is the most common one asked by a local authority to satisfy a condition of planning permission. A level three FRA, however, is flood modeling, which is similar to what we've seen done by the environment agency, but this time looking at your site specifically and how it will affect the localized flooding. We as consultants will then write a report for you based upon those three levels of flood risk assessment and our reports are tailored to your local authority to ensure the highest level of successful application. So guys, we hope you've enjoyed this video. For more information on flood risk assessments or to simply request a call back from one of our friendly team, check out the down bar below where there'll be a link to more information on our website. As well as that, there's further videos on the Key Services mini-series available on our YouTube page as well as our Twitter page where we post regularly. Until next time guys, it's been Tari from STM Environmental.